well, as we all know, PLUS, before it became ISDX, was under threat. We were already looking at uh, the possibilities of changing market to enhance liquidity in the stock and to bring greater shareholder uh, value. Um, our concerns were that if um, PLUS did go, that we really wanted to, to put ourselves forward into a better market and aim as the natural choice for us. The funds are targeted to be used for future acquisitions. We've been very proactive in this area. Over the last six years, we've acquired over 80 catalogues of, of music and video. We've spent between $4,000 and $600,000 on, on various acquisitions. Menomotors was an exciting one for us because it was a brand and we, we see great future in acquiring more brands in both music and in video. 2012 has been another good year for One Media. Our turnover is up 26%, our profit before tax is up 29%, and it's resulted in a 49% increase in EPS. All of the numbers obviously are on, uh, on the internet and on our websites. Um, 2.1 million turnover, 427,000 PBT. We remain debt free, and of course, a dividend yield of 3.3%. Having made the acquisitions of, of many music catalogues, we then uh, disseminate the digital information, create albums and or videos. They are then delivered via our aggregator to over 600 stores worldwide. We're talking iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, the usual suspects in the digital world. Some 16,000 albums now exist out there under the One Media brands. Mena Motors exists at the moment on YouTube. That will be rolled out as, as we move on. Currently at the moment, our products are mostly nostalgic. So we tend to find that it's the over 30s that tend to take the product and those with a disposable income. Obviously, people choose their individual type of store that they like dealing with, whether it's downloading or streaming. We see the advent of streaming moving forward as, as even Apple now begin to announce that they will be putting out some kind of streaming channels in the future. I think investors have got a good opportunity now to invest in one media. We're at the beginning and we've had our apprenticeship serve for the last six years on PLUS. Um, we're, we're match fit, if, if that's a, the right word to use, because I believe that we're fully au fait with the running of a public company. I believe that the team I've got around me are now very experienced and know how to get product to market rapidly and quickly. I believe that our model and the way we run our overheads and, and we keep control of costs means that we won't fall into the traps of other music or video companies. We have no legacy of a previous old record companies that had physical products which um, caused them to have stock shrinkages, warehouses full of product, manufacturers holding back deliveries. None of that applies to One Media. We have no horrible returns. We, we, we continue to monitor our, our, our methods of delivery and, and we're keeping ahead of the curve when it comes to the technology that allows us to deliver rapidly. Post float, I'll still maintain a 40% sharehold in the company. With my fellow directors, we will still control 49% of the business. That allows for a 51% shareholding out there in free float. As directors, we, we obviously remain fully committed to the business. Uh, this business is eminently scalable. We believe that we're coming in, as all CEOs would say, undervalued. We believe there's headroom and growth. Um, with regards to dilution, which is obviously a question I get asked a lot on, is that we're only ever going to be doing anything that's earning enhancing. And, and with such a, a large stake myself, I'm not going to be doing anything that's going to be detrimental to other shareholders. We're keen, obviously, if we're going to make acquisitions to use the uh, uh, new public um, currency and maybe using paper moving forward, but that will be assessed on a deal-by-deal -deal basis. I think in the very early days, it was far more reliant than it is today. I'm surrounded by a very good team. We have operations now in North America, where I have a, a co-director of our limited trading board that's over there looking for acquisitions. Um, over here, once we actually find or identify something to buy, it's not just me, it is a team effort. We're obviously building our, our storeroom full of, of, of content, both video and audio. We see the explosion in IPTV as being something which is going to be very, very good for all content holders moving forward. Um, we also believe that the uh, methods of, of purchasing records in the past um, pretty much begin to slow down more catastrophically because of the collapse at uh, retail with the HMV and blockbusters and people turning more to digital. We also see a, an explosion in the way that people will consume product via streaming. We also see um, many, many new apps that will enable people to, to download or, or stream their products via 
their lounge now as opposed to being tied to either a mobile device and or the uh, PC in their study. It's an interesting time for content companies. I think that the conduits of delivery are getting better, they're getting faster, broadband's expanding. Where we go long term with regards to our um, growth, I think um, we can continue on the path that we've been on. I think that there are many new avenues and new customers. Less than 40% worldwide now are a digitally streaming product to their variety of um, handhelds or, or, or home devices. That leaves 60% headroom still to come into this world.